Hey guys, it's Ray J, and today I'm doing an unboxing of the Noctua NH-U12S heatsink fan. Okay, so as you can see, this is a rather large box, and that is because it contains this beast. Now, I did a lot of research on different fans. Um, for my particular case, it's a medium sized case and I have very high profile RAM and that is a problem it means I can't have certain heat sinks especially the aftermarket ones like these um, however I did a lot of searching around and I came across this one and this is basically a hundred percent clearance RAM CPU heat sink it's also very powerful as well as being very slim so I've got the hundred percent compatibility and it will fit on my motherboard and it's quite tall but that's fine because I've got a window on my uh, computer case which is fine and it's quite large for space. I've looked at a lot of Noctua products and I constantly always see high reviews. People always claiming how great Noctua are, their customer service, their fans, their heat sinks, everything. Um, so I had to go ahead and just get one. It's worth the money. I paid around £48 and I could have got something like the Cooler Master Evo 212 but... I didn't want to, I wanted to go for Noctua, I've heard so many great things about them and I wanted to have my first product with them. So this is my first product and their fans are um, like the cream of the crop basically from ever, what I've heard and they're deadly silent yet very powerful. You always notice they're Noctua because of the colour scheme and I've got to be honest, yes I find it ugly but as a marketing point of view it makes them stand out and people know their brand. So you know it's fine, I'm not going to like look in my case and be like oh that's disgusting because it's not it's going to be giving me great performance the box does look pretty nice and look as you can see here it's award winning so you can't go wrong with this thing i can't wait to do tests with it on the side it tells you what it comes with um the specs basically compatibility six years warranty that's great um and you see the specs again performance what it can do got some more information on the back and here we have what the box contains so it's got a heat sink it's got the fan, it has a secure fin 2 mounting system for Intel and AMD, which is a bonus, especially if I ever want to use this on an AMD or an Intel board, I currently have AMD. And then it comes with the NTH1 thermal compound, I've already got my thermal paste which is um, very good, highly rated, so I'm going to be using that, but it's nice to know they include this in the box. It also has a low noise adapter, now this is just a little cable that connects to the fan, then connects to the motherboard, and it basically reduces the speed that the CPU fan can go at. However, because I've heard this is so deadly quiet, yet so powerful, I'm not going to be using that. And then it's got the installation kit, and probably like manuals, etc. So, I think without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. Right, so that's actually nicely packaged, I really like that. I like how they've done like a block by block sort of thing here. So let's go open this one first. It says accessories and it says what comes with it. That's awesome. So we've got those oh, we've got the screwdriver as well, that's great. That's um that's pretty cool. So there you go. Let's see what's inside the magic box. Well yeah, this is uh, all very well packaged, definitely. So I'm not actually sure what these are, I think these are like mounting rubber grommets. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll probably be using those. I think they are for mounting the actual fan to the side. Those there. And here we have here we have the thermal compound, and then we also have the clips to actually uh, clip it to the heatsink, the fan to the heatsink that is. Then we have the low noise adapter cable and some other things. So let's just uh, we may as well get into this. So we've got some, what's it, I don't know what this is, some sort of tape of some sort, um, feels like rubber, kind of silicone almost, I'm sure it's in the manual of what I do with that. Then we've got the pins which uh, connect the fan to the heatsink, then we have the cable, oh we have an Octua sticker, okay that is actually got to be one of the coolest ones I've seen, the stuck a, it's a badge and it's you know, solid and that looks, come on, that looks really cool. I am even tempted to put this on my case. I don't usually put these on my cases. I did it in the past when I was younger because I thought it was cool. But I quite like the minimalistic kind of look of just keeping it nice and ordinary. 
apart from the inside that is. <laughs> so here is the thermal paste, so that's good, I've got a backup. It looks like it's spring loaded too here, I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, maybe that's just me seeing some things. I think it's just markings actually, not spring loaded, don't know what I'm talking about. Right, so let's put that back down there. So that's the accessories box. Oh, and the screwdriver, forgot to mention. That is great. I am so happy that I actually unscrew, unscrew one, include one. And, wow, yeah, um, I've got tons of screwdrivers. And this is a lot different to what I'm used to. So it's obviously got the bath, and you can easily screw from um, going to the actual motherboard. Because obviously the heatsink is quite tall, and it might be a bit fiddly to kind of manoeuvre around and do it. So that's great. It's thin. It's tall and it's got a little handle to do that with. So that's very nice of you to not include that Noctua. Nice one. So far, so impressed. Alright, now let's look at the Intel. I'm not going to actually take this out properly though, because I'm not going to be using it. That is if um, it's in bags and stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to take all this out. But look at this. This is great. They give you instruction manuals. They even get yours sincerely signed by... Roland Massig from Noctua, CEO. That's cool. Come on, that is cool. Uh, and then you've got the adapters, which then you can mount to the motherboard and then mount the fan. Because the thing is, with this one, it's because it's 100% compatibility, you need to raise it up. Then you can install the heatsink. That way, it will not hit your RAM. So, again, we'll put that over to the side. Carry on. So, here is the AMD one. Now, this one feels a bit lighter, actually. Yeah, I can see why. There's, yeah, so you've just got the uh, manual again with the signature, which is really cool. It's very thorough. And then we've got the brackets again, which go to the motherboard, and then the heatsink can go on top. So these are little um, plastic bits which raise it up. You got all the screws. You got everything you need. Okay, that's cool. Now let's get into the actual main box, and I'm certain the heatsink's in here, guys. Woohoo! So. I'm gonna. Oh, okay, it's just a plastic thing covers it like that. Excuse me. And then here we have the desired fan. There we go. Right, that is that box done. There is the heatsink with the fan already on. Okay, so these are basically spares. That's really cool. And another thing which I love about this compared to um, other heatsinks of this kind of size is that they allow you to have another fan on, and that's again 100% clearance, that's awesome. So I can then do a pull and push configuration and increase my, you know, my cooling in the case completely and just reduce those temperatures. For now I'm going to stick with just one, and if I feel like it's necessary I'll get another one. I think if I just get some extra cash I'm going to buy a second one because it'll just be cool, literally in both ways. So yeah, this looks really nice. It feels, it feels sturdy guys, it feels really good. Definitely, and uh, oh man, I can't wait to try out all of this and see the temps because at the moment I'm like averaging idles, not bad. So idles about like 28 or like 30, um, and it can go around 40 sometimes. But when I living well load, it can go up to like 65, and that's rendering Prime 95, obviously. And then playing games like GTA 5, it just gets so hot, and especially when I'm like recording, etc., it just gets really hot. So I can't just do tests with this thing as well and install it. It's not copper as well, but a lot of uh, other brands are usually copper, but this one is uh, it's either aluminium or stainless steel. I think maybe aluminium, I'm not too sure. And also it's all covered up here. So there's not going to be heat escaping and it's all going to be chucked into this radiator fin here and it can be blown out. So that has been my unboxing, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, please like comment, subscribe, especially if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. I'm going to be doing an installation on this video and I'm also going to be doing a review as well as tests to see how this compares to my stock CPU heatsink cooler. So yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. This has been Array J. See you later.